welcome back to cycling in Cape Nottingham. This is going to be a short video with not much point to it. I'm on the canal. It is raining again, but it's not raining for a while. Wait, well, not when I've had free time to get out. I'm putting new mud guards on because. I put a pair of Swalb Marathon Plus Tour tyres on which you can't see very well and they were kind of a bit you know too big for the old mud guys they were rubbing, rubbing on them all the time making irritating noises so I decided to put a nice new set of mud guards on and now I'm not getting any flipping noises uh, also I'm just making a video just to say it's you know there's not gonna be many videos for some time because I've just run out of days to have other work. There's nothing really I can do. I will try and do some single night weekend camps which will be on the Cycling and Cake Extras channel, not this channel. So if you want to watch them, you want to go over to that channel yeah I'm still at the same job it's kind of sucks but I gotta keep working for now. I wanna get a different job soon. And also, I feel the subscribers are letting this channel down. When I put work into I put work into going out making videos and you know they're, they're all just dead now you know the subscribers just seem to kill them all when I started this new channel to get rid of the subscribers from the old channel because and I seem to get a lot of the same subscribers coming back on this channel and not showing us apart just to prove how bad the subscribers are on the old channel there's still over a thousand but you know just haven't had a single comment for like month it kind of shows what the weak spot is it is disappointing when you you know put effort into videos and they just you know die out especially when there's people who there's someone I won't mention who you know walked around on some public footpaths and said some like obvious as hell information and he, and he literally gets you know he's got like nearly 80,000 views it's, he literally walks around saying like oh there's a, a you know a factory there what makes as asphalt 
there's a recycling place there. He just says a like, oh, dead obvious stuff and I know what that place there does because I've seen PJ PJ Audits has done an audit there. And yeah, I do like watching audit channels. I see them as very they're very necessary there. Some people see, think like they're just you know deliberately trying to irritate people but the point is it's a, a legal right to do what they do. And let's say if you say you work in a company, you see a man with a camera outside, you should just stay away from him. You don't walk up to him and say, oh you can't film me. I'll just stay flipping away. Now enough about that, it's a bit bumpy here. Yeah? PJ Audits made videos at a few other places around here. Yeah? Well as you know, I do love cycling in the rain. I just think to myself. It's a shame I don't get more time to get out and enjoy the rain and get out on my bike. I was saying about the describers, you know, you put all the effort into a video and they do, you know, in fact, the last thing was the uh, last two videos. I put a video on both channels, and they were pretty much dead instantly. So it kind of puts me off. You know, why bother? I'm certainly not going to, you know, flipping chuck my life away to make videos of subscribers like that. I mean, I'm so tempted to quit, you know, either quit YouTube or just have a, a long break because I've still, you know, got a, a tour to the East Coast what I've been wanting to do for years. I'm planning to do that next year. I'm planning to just, just get everything right bump nasty bumps on this trail i wanted to get everything right get some training in get the weight on my bike i noticed recently when i've been on tours the bike just seems so damn heavy i mean it's so heavy i need to think what i can change 
I was watching a bicycle tour in Pro when he's doing like months long trips and he seems to have less stuff. So I need to think, you know, what can I change? You know, what's making the the weight? I mean, there's loads of stuff you can take by a tie. There's some kind of optional luxury extras that you can take. But if you take them, it's, you know, You've got to carry the weight. The thing with bicycle, I've only had the thing with beauty, you get all kinds of idiots making stupid suggestions like and I was going to mention one of them there's a guy on the old channel when I lost my last job and I was literally I was struggling seriously bad and literally I couldn't get any support off anywhere I mean there's some idiots say well why don't you just like go on a tour and just have like new noodles as food. Well, screw that. Because you know, the well, thing with bicycle tire and it's extremely extreme it's extremely flipping tiring. Especially if you're not already super fit and it can have an effect on your morale it, it just it's really I know there's times that we have some of don't take stoves but most of the time it's just brilliant to you know, have some hot food, some packets of crisps, some, you know, alcoholic drinks, I mean, because it gives you, it just gives you the morale boost, makes you feel good. I mean, just having nothing but proxy 15 pence noodles. It would just be total shit it would <laughs> We've seen it pretty much on every tour <laughs> Me and Ian, it's like a kind of a you know, like a a fun tradition, what we make like a alcoholic cocktails, like whiskey and coke, rum and coke. I think Ian had I can't remember what Ian had on the last tour, but it was something with like whiskey and lemon. Because when we went to the shop in, I, th I think it's Colling, I'd get Coddington and Collingham mixed up, but we always pretty much go to the same shop and they had no large size bottled water. So we both brought these flavoured water and Ian made up, made, put his whiskey into this, well, I think it was lemon and lime. It really does add a fun aspect to it. 
you've probably seen it in drinking well I, I've seen it in drinking loads of wine but he never never seems drunk really it's just keeping hydrated I mean, I probably can't see much, but I've done this trail hundreds of times. It would probably look lovely, does look lovely. And what else was I going to say? I can't remember what else I was going to say, but I feel I was just talking about idiots on YouTube and I mean, you know, YouTube can just be a really hate-filled experience we just get loads of hate and negative comments and but yet you, you go for a lot of time, money and effort to film videos and people can't be bothered to leave comments and, and sometimes I actually meet people who say they've seen my videos and part of the, there's part of me what the I just pretend to be like nice and say, oh, you know, do you, you, you know, thank you, thanks for what, but in reality, I feel like saying, you know, I need to, what did you do to show support? And with most people, it's pretty much nothing. So you kind of feel like saying, fuck you to him. That's why I abandoned the old channel. Because, you know, I had a few little side projects and you know, like Facebook groups, Instagram and I pretty much got zero response out of over like 1,000 people So I kind of thought, if that's their attitude, then if they can't, if I can't remember the amount. There's some there, there's definitely over a thousand. Could be up to one thousand. I can't remember, like two hundred and fifty now, I think. And you literally just you can't get nobody to support you on a few side projects so I'll just here stuff them basically why should I put the effort in if they can't help you out Oh, I don't feel very fit. They're gonna, I've been just haven't had the time to do much cycling.
I don't want to take too long to get home, but I'm actually going to stop a minute. Yeah, I've got some mates I've seen for a while. I remember when one of them, he dropped his flask, what he'd had for decades, off the little bridge down there. We were trying to get it out of the river. All happy memories. I want to put my phone in my pocket. I love this bag, but it's not waterproof. Now I think this video is long enough. I'm gonna head home, and it would be really good if anyone's watching to leave comments on more videos and actually start supporting it because. I'll flip and catch you on whatever comes next, it probably won't be much.